What is the big problem for Kamala Harris? Well, the biggest problem for Kamala Harris is she's utterly unqualified. Right? She's utterly unqualified for this office. Again, she was not a good attorney general of the state of California. She's a terrible senator from the state of California. And the way she got started, if any Republican woman had gotten started in politics, the way Kamala Harris got started in politics, she would be a laughing stock. Off the bat, she would be a laughing stock. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Willie Brown. So for folks who don't know California politics, Willie Brown is the former leader of basically the Democratic caucus across the state of California, a very powerful man in California politics. Well, Willie Brown has been married for many, many years. And there's one problem with that, which is that he has also dated half of the women in California while he was married. Yeah, he's a bit of a douchebag. Brown served as San Francisco mayor from 1996 until January 2004. And he was considered a a very, very powerful Democrat across the state. He was succeeded by Gavin Newsom. He was sort of associated with, with Arnold Schwarzenegger a little bit. In any case, when he was 60 years old, Willie Brown met Kamala Harris. He was married at the time. And Kamala Harris, who was 30, started dating him. I'm sure it was just a partnership of love. I'm sure they fell in love at first sight. I'm sure that she looked at him and she thought, 60 year old, so attractive, 60 year old man, twice my age. That's, that's the, I love him. That, that's that's what, what's going to happen here. Or alternatively, or alternatively, and this is not cynical, this is just the fact, he gave her a bunch of jobs. How do I know he gave her a bunch of jobs? Because he says so in an editorial for the Seth for the San Francisco Chronicle today. And here's what he writes. I've been peppered with calls from the national media about my relationship with Kamala Harris, particularly since it became obvious that she was going to run for president. Most of them I have not returned. Yes, we dated. It was more than 20 years ago. He was married at the time. He was 60. She was 30. Yes, I may have influenced her career by appointing her to two state commissions when I was assembly speaker. First of all, that's just an outright admission of corruption. That you were nailing somebody until you appointed them to state commissions when you were assembly speaker? Like, how is that okay? I'm, just, I'm wondering, how is that not just blatant corruption? Of course, it is blatant corruption. By the way, both of those, both of those jobs were near six-figure salaries for nothing, for doing nothing, except for presumably dating a married man. And then he says, I certainly helped her with her first race for district attorney in San Francisco. I've also helped the careers of, of Nancy Pelosi, Gavin Newsom, Dianne Feinstein, and a host of other politicians. Oh, really? Did you date them also? I missed the part where you were dating Gavin Newsom. I missed the part where you were dating him and presumably enjoying each other, and then you decided that you were going to help Gavin Newsom with his mayoral run. Missed that part. He says, the difference is that Harris is the only one who, after I helped her, sent word that I would be indicted if I so much as jaywalked while she, while she was DA. Right, because she has to say that, because if she doesn't say that, then it looks like open corruption. Because that's politics for you. Wow, just, just amazing stuff. In a second, I'm going to explain why nobody in the media is going to pay attention. They're going to call it sexist if you mention this story. Right? If, you, if you mention this story, it's... Okay, so the media are going to say that Willie Brown did something terrible by mentioning this. Except for the fact that, again, if any Republican ever had done anything like this, they would be a laughing stock. Let's say that, let's say, for example, that Sarah Palin, when she was selected for vice president, it had come out that she dated George H.W. Bush while he was married to Barbara, and that he made sure that she got her start in Alaska politics. You think that might have been a bit of an issue for her, for her VP run? You think? Or no? If it turned out that Nikki Haley, for example, had gotten into politics by dating a man twice her age who then gave her political favors. You might think that'd be used as a club by the media. Yeah, I think so. Unless you think that this is a sexist thing, it is not. You know how many times I have mocked John Kerry? John Kerry, former 2004 candidate and secretary of state. I've mocked him one million times for having married Teresa. He married one rich woman and then divorced her and then married another rich woman and then lived off her fortune. It's, It's always seen, and it should be seen, as a bad thing in American politics to marry for political purposes. This was the rip on Hillary Clinton too, by the way, is that she lived off her husband's name and lived off of his coattails so that she could then run for senator and president and be secretary of state. Kamala Harris is not a feminist icon if she was dating Willie Brown so she could get appointed to a bunch of positions. While he was married, by the way, I know that we, I know we gloss over this in American life now. On both sides, in both political parties, we have ignored the idea that adultery is bad. I know that Republicans now think, oh, well, you know, it happens because of President Trump. And I know that Democrats have been doing this routine for literally decades, that since the era of JFK, whatever, so they commit adultery. It's kind of bad when you are the other woman to a married man who is then providing you with giveaway jobs in the California state government. That's kind of bad. 
Now, nobody's going to attack her on this because if other Democrats do, then she will claim sexism. President Trump might because President Trump has no limits. One of the beautiful things about the man (laughs) is that he will say anything at any time. But should that be an issue? Of course, that should be an issue. It is obvious, overt corruption. And she should have to answer questions about that. And she shouldn't be able to shy away with, with answers like, oh, yeah, I fell deeply in love with Willie Brown when he was 60 and I was 30. Eh, yeah, that's, that's a thing that happens all the time. And there are lots of 60-year-old men. You know how many of them who are, you know, kind of middle-class schlubs who aren't powerful men in politics are getting 30-year-old up-and-coming law student girlfriends? Tons of them. Tons. Just it happens all the time. 